You want me to break that over your head? You want me to break that over your head? You want me to break that over your head? You want me to break that over your head? You want me to break that over your head? Why would you break that over my head? Put it down. Not gonna put it down. Welcome back. You're here today with your boy, Anthony X. And today I'm replaying a First Amendment audit I did over in Santa Cruz, California at Three Bros Grows Marijuana Dispensary. In this audit, I was peacefully taking picture and video in public, trying to work on my story in peace, when I was approached by their general manager, Sean Flynn, who threatened my life over public photography. Not only did he threaten my life multiple times, he thinks the sidewalk and public property belongs to him. Guys, I voted for this industry, but this is unacceptable behavior. I mean, come on now. Threatening to break a camera over someone's head just because you don't like that they're taking pictures in front of your establishment? Unreal, guys. Not only is this a civil rights violation under California Penal Code 52.1, the Tom Bain Civil Rights Act, this is also a criminal offense under PC 422. Meaning, yeah, we have freedom of speech, guys, but you can't go around threatening someone's life. If convicted as a misdemeanor, it could be up to one year in jail. If prosecuted and convicted as a felony, it could be up to four years in the state prison. Guys, that's not my attention. However, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Should I go press charges? Should I pursue civil litigation against the dispensary and their general manager, Sean Flynn? Like I said, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I want to hear from you. And guys, if you want to go on their Facebook page or give them a call and voice your concerns, I do ask that you do it cordially and of your own free will. I mean, it's obvious they don't care about my freedoms or my rights and think it's okay to harass and threaten a citizen all for public photography, but maybe they'll listen to you guys. After all, it's the people's voice that makes a difference. Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing these videos. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Santa Cruz, California, three bros. Let's do this. The little uh, sign there, 929. Pretty cool. Three bros. And they are open. Definitely support the business in general. It's not just about getting high, guys. A lot of people have medical issues. They also do CBD oils. I would imagine edibles. I voted for this industry. What are you doing recording out here? What's up? You work here or you just... I mean, I'm just wondering why you're recording. Well, I, who, who am I talking to first? Are you just, uh... I don't think you need to know. Well, why if you're asking me questions, I don't know if you're just a customer or someone who works here. I don't explain myself to random people. Because the people inside are concerned. They don't know what you're up to. Gotcha. Well, I don't know what they're up to inside either. Yeah, I think they're just legally conducting business. Absolutely. So I'm interested in what your involvement is. If you want to let me know who you are, I may or may not answer some questions. Yeah, I'm not going to identify myself for you. All right, well, don't ask me questions then. I wouldn't come up to you and start asking you random questions. Oh, do you do that to everybody walking by? People that are filming for no reason, yeah. You don't know if I have a reason or not. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Never said I didn't have a reason, but you don't want to tell me who you are or why you're asking. You don't have to give me your name, date of birth, where you live. Sense. I'm just asking if you work here or not. You don't want to answer that. If you're yeah, just a concerned work. customer, I mean, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. I am a concerned customer. So you don't work here, to clarify. I don't work here. What? No? No. Yeah, I'm just working on a story. No no ill will, no nefarious activities going on. Just working on the story, brother. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. That wasn't so hard. them mumble something about maybe call the police they kind of giggled 
don't think they're going to do it. They haven't come out telling me I have to leave. Although I did hear one of them say I can't record inside the door, which is definitely not true if I am on a public sidewalk. How's it going, brother? How you doing? How you doing? I'm oh, just doing a little video recording, man. Are you? Yeah. Right got to do it. You got your goodies? Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, you're being cordial. I'm just working on a story. You know, I voted for this industry. I think it's great what they're doing. I just want to see, you know, how it's going and making sure everything's run properly. You know what I mean? Sounds good. Right by the tracks, guys. Might be a little noisy with all the vehicles going back and forth. I did hear them mumble something about maybe call the police. They kind of giggled. Don't think they're going to do it. They haven't come out telling me I have to leave. Although I did hear one of them say I can't record inside the door, which is definitely not true if I am on a public sidewalk. What are you doing, buddy? You want me to break that over your head? Why would you break that over my head? Put it down. Not gonna put it down. You can't film that. Why is that? Or I will break that over your head. Right now. So you're threatening me. I am. So you're threatening me. I am. Get off the property to be clear, right now. I'm not on your property. Get off it right now. I'm telling you to leave right now or I'll break that camera you, over your head. Do you work here? Yes, I'm the GM here. Yes, I'm the GM here. Yes, I'm the GM here. Okay, so if you break this over my head, you will have a major lawsuit. Well, take it off. You can't be filming us in front of the shop. I'm not going to. Right. And you're being live streamed just so you know. So if anything happens to my camera, it'll still be recorded. Don't try to threaten me, buddy. Well, you can't be filming our employees. You and if you attack me, I will defend myself as well. Go ahead. Oh, I will. Trust me. Yeah. Well, I need you to leave the premises right now. All right, we'll cops. Oh, no. Don't call the police. Oh, no. All right, get lost, buddy. I'm not getting lost. I'm on a I fucking to, sidewalk. I need you to leave the property right now. I'm not going to leave. I will make you leave. I will make you leave. I will make you leave. I am asking you to leave the property right I'm, now. Is this your property? Yes. You're saying this sidewalk belongs to you. You going to post that on Facebook? Good for you. Good luck. You heard that, I'm guys. I'm to leave. I'm going to call the cops if you don't leave the property. I, I welcome it. You're acting like a child. Please leave the property. I'm acting like a child because you came up and tried to bully me. Yeah, I am. Because this is my property, and I don't need you filming the girls, filming our employees, and well, filming our shop. Not going to stop. It's illegal to have the camera on the premises. So not, please I'm leave. not on your premises. Not even once. All right. Well, stay here. Don't put your camera down, or I will come back out here. You got that, buddy? You mean like this? Get back to I work. I need you to go home and you be just an adult. You just said you're going to break this over my head. If That's a stop, threat. If you stop, so I may, I may actually file charges on you. Okay. For threatening me. You, you want threat to call the cops right now and see how it yeah, goes? Yeah, and let's show them what you said. Yeah. Okay. Kick rocks, buddy. I didn't say you're afraid. You're the one that came out acting like a fucking dick. Hey, if you keep you up, made your shop look bad. You can't keep filming the property, sir. You just made yourself look horrible. Okay. Yeah. You sure threatened did. me with physical violence. No, I didn't. I will be reaching out to my lawyer. Okay, please do. Because there's no physical violence ever happened. You threatened me. That still counts. No, it doesn't. So you're saying I can walk around in the assault? Freedom of speech. So please I can leave. go. No. So I can go to one of your employees and say, "Hey, I'm gonna fucking break your camera on your head." No. What do you think would happen? I don't. You got that fucking on your head prick. Too. You just made your whole industry look bad. No, we didn't. Yeah, you did. Threatening violence on a citizen. Unreal. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out my repost of the First Amendment audit I did over in Santa Cruz, California at Three Bros Grows Marijuana Dispensary. In my opinion, I'm going to give them a big fat thumbs down just for the simple fact that their general manager, Sean Flynn, came out and threatened my life by breaking a camera over my head over public photography. Guys, let me give you some advice. If you own, manage, or run a business... There's no such thing as bad exposure unless you make it bad. Simply ignore someone if you don't like what they're doing, especially when they're out in public. Or maybe come over and say hello. How are you? Do you have any questions? Can I offer you a tour? Maybe a bottle of water? But don't threaten someone's life, guys. Don't violate their civil rights. And guys, if their actions bothered you as much as they did me, and you want to voice your concerns by giving them a phone call, maybe posting on their social media Facebook page, or maybe even visiting Sean Flynn's LinkedIn, I do ask that you do so cordially. And of course, of your own free will, make sure to pound that like button, make sure to follow or subscribe, show your support by sharing these videos. Last but not least, 
No bootlicking. Santa Cruz, California, Three Bros Grows. We'll see you on the next one. And guys, there will be a next one. Trust me on that one. All right, guys, let's show a little love, show a little support. Go check out my daughter's website, www.seaheaton.com, for the best handmade natural soap in town. My personal favorite, Cedarwood for Men. Yeah, baby, use promo code AX1 and enjoy 10% off any $25 purchase or more. She's not only a phenomenal soap maker, she's a big supporter of the first auditing community, so show a little love, go check it out, and tell her Anthony X sent you.